Hey everybody, it's Christine. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are gonna make the most delicious soup, stew, whatever you wanna call it. It's kind of a stewy soup um, that's perfect for fall. And I can eat soup in all year round, but uh, when the weather starts to get a little cooler, it's always nice to have. And then you have leftovers that you can eat the next day for lunch. This recipe is super easy. I like easy recipes. Um, very common ingredients, nothing crazy and you can store it in the fridge and heat it up for later. Well, I haven't done a recipe since last year. I did pumpkin bread and I've been wanting to do another one. I tried it yesterday for the first time and it is like one of the best I've ever made. So I decided to start with this, this uh, recipe for all you guys and share it with you because it's perfect for this time of year. It's perfect for fall. Ginger, sweet potato, coconut milk, stew with kale and lentils. So there's all kinds of good stuff in this, um, lots of nutrition and lots of big flavor. So uh, I'm going to prep everything and take you step by step through it and I'll have the recipe down below. So I hope you try it out. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is peel your sweet potato. So um, you could actually leave the peel on, but I think it's better to peel it. That's just my preference. I'm using a giant sweet potato. Um, if you can't find one this big, you could get two smaller ones. So we're just going to peel this. I have to rinse it off a little bit and just go ahead and peel it all the way. And I always um, throw these peels away because I've had my garbage disposal get packed with peels and clogged up and it's not fun at all. Okay, now that we have this peeled, we're just going to chop it up. So I like to do little pieces. You can chop, chop it however big you want. Um, the smaller the pieces are, the faster it's going to cook. So, and I just think it's nice to have littler pieces in a soup because we're not going to blend this up. We're just going to leave the chunks in there. Try not to cut your finger. I cut my finger yesterday. Luckily it wasn't that bad, but it's scary. So I like to cut them into discs and then I just kind of stack them up and chop them this way. And another chop this way. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and finish chopping all that. Okay, I finished chopping the sweet potatoes and now I'm just going to put them in a bowl and just set them aside. We'll use them in a minute. I'm going to chop up my onion. You're going to need three cloves of garlic, minced up. And it's, I think it's important to use fresh garlic. So I wouldn't use like that pre-cut jarred garlic. It has like a different flavor. So the fresh garlic is so much better. It doesn't take very long to chop it up. I need three cloves. Doesn't have to be perfect. I'm definitely not great at chopping things. It still tastes good. <laughs> it's flying everywhere. Okay. It's nice and fine. That. Okay. I'm just gonna set that in the bowl. Next, you're going to need some ginger, and again, fresh ginger is going to taste way better than just some powdered ginger. So, you need about and two inches is what what you know the recipe says, but you know you don't really have to be exact with this. So, just going to slice off the outer skin as much as I can because it's really awkward. Right now I'm not getting, I'm wasting all some of the ginger, but trying to get this off is not easy because it's shaped so strangely. Okay. Like about that much. You could do more. And again, you're just going to chop it little pieces. 
and this gives so much flavor. It's pretty, it's easy to find fresh ginger. They have it at every grocery store. So if you've never cooked with it before, it's super easy to find. start with some coconut oil. I'm going to turn on the flame and we're going to need about two tablespoons. You don't have to be super exact with this. You can even add more if you need it, but you know, it's kind of hard. It's solid. So you have to melt it down. If you guys can see it's starting to melt down a little bit. This is where you're going to get a lot of flavor. So we're going to be using some spices. We're going to use some cumin, some turmeric, which is super healthy, anti-inflammatory. Um, I'm going to use cayenne pepper today, but this recipe calls for red pepper flakes, which I don't have them out of. So um, just a little heat. Okay. And then some coriander, some ground coriander. And then of course, salt and pepper. You can always measure that to your liking. Okay, so this is just about melted. And so we're gonna add our onions in there. Okay. And we get that cooking. So move that around. Alright. Got those onions moving around. You want to get them going just a little bit before you add the spices. But then we're going to add a teaspoon of each of these. Okay. How many teaspoons? Okay, so we'll start with just some salt and pepper. Then salt. Teaspoon of pepper. I'm actually gonna do the whole thing. Okay, then we're gonna get some coriander or some cumin. Just cumin. And put that in there. Some turmeric. Pepper. And you can adjust this if you don't like it spicy, you don't have to add it. I love spicy, so and cayenne and some coriander. Of course, this thing is on here. Okay. I don't like these little spice jars, it's really hard to get the, the right amount. That's pretty good. Okay. We got all the spices in there. Now this is where the flavor starts to really develop, so you want to let it cook. Stick it around. You can smell it. It smells so good right now. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and add, I'm gonna add the garlic. So we've got three cloves of garlic. So those are going in. And we're gonna let that cook. Get to looking pretty good. You wanna get a little bit of color on those onions because that's good flavor. So we're gonna add the ginger that we chopped. So that's gonna go in next. And then you're gonna keep stirring it, stirring it around. like on a medium heat so it's not super hot because you don't want it to burn because that's going to change the flavor. That smells so good. Mm. Okay, so now we're going to add our sweet potatoes. Right in there. And the 
mix those around because you just want them to absorb some of the flavor before you add the liquid. Yeah, I've already got some stuff sticking to the bottom, so I'm just going to add a little bit more coconut oil. Kind of deglaze it. All right, these potatoes have been cooking in here for a little bit, so now I'm going to add a half a cup of brown lentils to this. So just regular brown lentils. Stir that in. And again, you want to put these in before you add the broth so that they will absorb some of this flavor. Put that around. And I have some brown bits on the bottom that when I add the vegetable broth, they're gonna pick up that flavor, so it's gonna be very good. It's all around. you could smell this because it smells incredible. It's so good. All right, at this point, we're gonna add four cups of vegetable broth. Okay, so I'm using just an organic vegetable broth. And I'm just gonna pour that in. this a little stir. Make sure I get all that stuff off the bottom. That's a lot of good flavor. So you just need to cook this as long as it takes for the sweet potatoes to get tender. So um, maybe like 20 minutes. It depends. Just you want to check them just kind of see if they're getting tender. And that's when we're going to add the rest of the ingredients. So while I'm waiting for my potatoes to cook, I'm going to get my kale ready. So um, I've already washed it all. So what I like to do is just rip the, the big stem right out and just kind of pull it off like that and get all the nice leaves off and discard that stem and just keep doing that <clears throat> and then I'm going to chop it up. Okay, I've got my kale all, got the ribs out of the kale and now I'm just going to give it a rough chop. So I've got it all right here, it doesn't have to be, you know. You can chop it as much as you want. It's gonna wilt down when you put it in the soup. So you just don't want giant pieces of kale when you try to eat it. So just kind of fold it on itself and chop through. And that's about it. So you can buy like pre-chopped kale, but I think that it's better to chop it yourself. All right, guys, at this point, the potatoes are pretty soft. So I just test, test them with my knife and you can kind of slice through them. Still want them to cook a little longer, but they're pretty soft right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my coconut milk. So we're gonna use organic full fat coconut milk. So I like the Thai kitchen, but whatever, any kind of coconut milk in a can will do. Okay, and this is just gonna be so nice and creamy. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that in. creamy. That's why you want the full fat because you want to get that creaminess. I'm going to turn the heat down just a little bit and we're just going to mix that and let it kind of melt together. Okay. 
and it has that nice uh, golden color and that's from the turmeric turmeric is so good for you too and ginger both are anti-inflammatory okay get that coconut milk melted in there okay and then i'm gonna just throw my kale in there now so it's gonna wilt way down so we've got a big bunch but And you could use any kind of green that you like. So if you don't like kale, you could use, you know, collard green, you know, any kind of uh, hearty leaf. You don't want to use like a soft lettuce because that will just get mushy. Um, I think spinach would get mushy in this. So you need something that's a little bit thicker. But kale works great for this and it's so good for you. So we're just gonna incorporate that. here. Ah, dropped one. Ugh. Okay. And the great thing about making soups is that all the nutrients are going to stay in that soup, so you're not going to lose any of it. So, you know, when you cook things, sometimes you lose some of the nutrients, but it's all going to be in the liquid and the broth, so you're going to get lots of nutrition in this. Lots of good protein from the lentils. Lots of vitamins. Good fat. Okay, so now we're just gonna let this kind of simmer together. Maybe for another like 10 or 15 minutes. So while we're waiting for this to cook, um, I'm gonna chop up some fresh cilantro because we're gonna top it with fresh cilantro and a squirt of lime. To finish it off and really don't want to skip that because that really brings out the flavor so I'm gonna chop up a big bunch of cilantro just a rough chop and I like to chop the stems in there and everything so if you don't like the stems you can cut them off but I think they add a lot of good flavor cilantro you could use uh, parsley that would be good in this too and then I sliced up some wine getting there so it's 4 30 happy hour so I poured myself a little glass of rosé while I'm waiting for this to cook cheers okay guys this has been cooking for about 20 minutes, so I'm going to turn the heat off. And you can see it's kind of thick because the lentils are making it a little thicker and the potato, the sweet potato. So we're going to spoon some of this into a bowl. Now it's really hot, so you would want to let it cool down just a little bit, but for the video, so we're going to take a nice big ladle of this, looks so good, into a bowl, a little bit more, ooh, yummy, okay, I'm going to take a big handful of cilantro, so we're just going to sprinkle that in there, okay, and then I'm going to take one of these little lime wedges and just squeeze it over the top, let's get lots of juice in there, Grab a spoon. Okay, I'm gonna mix that up. And you may wanna taste it, you know, it might need a little bit of salt. All right, so I'm just gonna mix everything together. I put a lot of cilantro in here. You don't have to put as much as I did because I really like it, so. take a taste it's pretty hot right now but just get a little bit of everything in here sweet potato cilantro lentils 
blow on it. Mm. Oh my gosh. That is so good. That coconut milk just brings out all those flavors. And the lime and cilantro. Really, really, really delicious. Mm. Oh my gosh, it's really hot. So I hope you guys try this recipe. It is really good, really good for you. And I'm sure your family's gonna love it. So give it a try and I'll have all of the ingredients and the rest of full recipe down below so you can follow along. Uh, let me know if you try it out because I'd love to, to see what you think of it. All right, thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe. Try our body weight workouts. I know they're brutal, but give them a try. You don't need any equipment. All right, thank you so much.